The primary weapon system for the M1A2 Abrams tank is the 120mm smoothbore cannon. You also have a 240 coaxial machine gun located in the gunner seat. Right below that, you have the gunner's auxiliary sight. And above that, you have the gunner's primary sight and thermal viewer. To my right, we have the gunner's primary sight and his thermals. Above that, you have the TC's M2 50 cal machine gun mounted on the Crows, which is our remotely operated weapon system. To my left, we have the commander's independent thermal viewer and the Lotus 240 machine gun. This here is the driver's hole. Over here you have the driver's display panel. It controls the fuel. It shows you how fast you're going. It turns your lights on and off. Over here is the driver's T handle. This is how the driver drives. Down here you have the parking brake and the night vision driving device over here to the left. This here is the loader seat. To my right we have the ammunition ready rack. We can hold up to 18 rounds. We have a sable round inside the ready rack. In the loader seat, other than loading rounds, the loader is also in charge of radios and communications. Here we are in the tank commander's position. Right here is his gunner primary sight extension so he can make sure gunner and him are on the same page. Over here is the commander's display unit. This is where he controls the tank. This is where his thermal imaging system pops up. To my right down here, we have the gunner's control handle, or the TC's control handle, and the Crows, which is our common remotely operated weapon system handle right here, which controls the M250 cal machine gun. This is my primary sight, the sight that I use to shoot most targets. This is the auxiliary sight. This is the thermal sight. And this is where the coax is the 240 machine gun is mounted. This is part of the manual elevation system, and then this is, or on the other side, is located the uh, traversing mechanism for manual. This is my hydraulic handle so I can traverse the gun with hydraulics. Yeah.